Radio's Curtain Call and one of the biggest musicals in the world is coming to Guildford's Ivan Arno Theatre. It's the GSA performance of Grease, the stars of the future from Guildford School of Acting. Let's go and meet the team. Tell me about him. Tell me about him. Playing the lead role of Sandy is Elizabeth Walker and she told us all about the audition process. I auditioned for four musicals all at the same time, so Grease and Songs for New World which is on the same week as we are and the two other ones later in the year. So we had to prepare a song for each, so you have to go and then decide what's going to suit that and you have to have a 50s pop song and then you have to have a contemporary song and so it is quite difficult to find the right song for the way you want to market yourself to the audition panel, if there's a certain show that you think you'd be right for, you obviously need to sort of go down that alley a bit more and say, look, this is the kind of part I'm looking for and hopefully that comes across to them. So it's quite a long process of finding the right song, picking the right outfit and doing your hair the right way just to sort of say, this is what I'm going for. Hopefully you'll pick me. Which song did you go for, for Sandy? I chose Walk On By actually. Oh, yeah, 50, nice. well, I think that's a 60s pop song. I got away with it, so yeah, it was a success, what obviously. <laughs> so, Danny and Sandy meet in the summer and they fall in love, and it's great, but then Sandy's meant to go back to a different place, and Danny goes back to Rydell. But the plans change, Sandy ends up at Rydell, then they meet and it all goes pear-shaped because he has to act like a T-bird in front of all his friends and the big man and she's heartbroken because she's like, you're not the same person that you were. So then that goes through a bit of that for a while. They make up, they break up, they make up, they break up. And then at the end, Sandy decides that she's going to be an empowered woman. She's going to change. She's going to become a bit more like the pink ladies. And they get together. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. It's all lovey-dovey. <laughs> A little studio theatre is really nice, but it's only about 200 seats. So to go from that into what's nearly like a thousand seats is, it takes your breath away a bit when you look and you've got the circle and the stalls and how far back it goes. It's a really great experience and that just makes you more hungry for when you are performing in those spaces. Everyone loves Greece. You'll be going out of the theatre, clapping your hands and want to dance and you'll be wanting to get on stage with us. So if you want a really good night of entertainment, I'd come to Greece. Directing the show is Michael Vivian and he told us why he thinks it's going to be such a success. The thing about Greece is that it's just one of those shows that's so feel good that uh, we know once we get people inside that theatre, they're going to have a great two hours. Um, and we've got one or two tricks up our sleeve as well. Is that why you chose Greece? Because of the feel-good factor? Well, in a sense, you know, this is, these are tough times for everybody. We want to go to the Arno and uh, put on something that people are going to want to see. So, um, Greece sort of fits the bill. It also fits the bill as regards the drama students, the leaving drama students. This is the kind of work that they're going to go into when they leave here. Uh, a lot of these, these sort of shows come back again and again. Grease, Saturday Night Fever, that kind of stuff. It comes back an awful lot. Why? Because that's what uh, the public want. Obviously, have a drama students being together for three years, they get to know each other really well, and they, especially the musical theatre department here, when they work so closely with them in developing their voices and their physicality, it's important that you get two players who could trust each other and, and lead the team. It's a fantastic opportunity for them and uh, they, they're really rising to it. To see the stars of the future in action, check out the Guildford School of Acting students in Greece at the Evil Arno Theatre from Saturday the 8th until Saturday the 15th of February. Thank you for watching this Eagle Radio Curtain Call special. Until next time, bye for now.